Hi, welcome back to Under the Cuff. Uh, today's Under the Cuff is Destination Rotterdam by Swatch, reference YVS416G. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So this is the Destination Rotterdam by Swatch, and this is what it looks like on the wrist. I'll go ahead and take it off for the review. So as I mentioned previously, this is a Destination Rotterdam by Swatch, reference YVS416G. Um, the case and the actual bracelet material is stainless steel. Part of, it's part of the Irony collection. And uh, one of the things I really love about this watch is it's an alternative to the Rolex Daytona without it being an homage watch. Uh, so it's not a replica or an homage. It, it has its own thing, but kind of from a, a, out of the corner of your eye, kind of looks like the Daytona without spending the big bucks. Uh, it's Swiss movement, obviously, by Swatch, and it is quartz. So right back here, you can see the battery. Uh, that's actually one of the really cool features I love about Swatch is their customer service. Uh, their uh, quartz movements, you have a life uh, long supply of free battery replacements of the life of the watch. So whenever your battery does run out, you just pop into any swatch and they'll uh, replace the battery for free. So the water resistance is uh, three bars. Uh, there is a chronograph and a date, the date displayed at the three o'clock. And Let's take a look at the measurements. So I actually got slightly different measurements than what is on the Swatch uh, website, but most likely it's the calipers, not uh, Swatch themselves. Who am I to argue with a Swiss pre precision, right? So the width is 42 and a half. On the website, it says 43 millimeters. It is 12 millimeters thick. And then lug to lug. It's about 48 millimeters. Um, I'm not going to actually do um, measurement here because it is a Swatch proprietary strap. Uh, so really no point in measuring um, lug bar width but uh, yeah that is one downside with swatch thank you for watching my review of the destination Rotterdam um, I'm just going to go over a, a few other things I really like about the watch I really do enjoy the brushed steel uh, finish of the watch uh, the bracelet itself is extremely comfortable I don't have any instances of where it's uh, either pinching the skin or pulling at the hair on my wrist. And um, it's actually not that heavy. However, it is a little bit larger uh, than what the trend is going for uh, currently, uh, but it doesn't spill over the wrist. Uh, pop into any Swatch store. I'll also keep a link uh, where, to the Swatch shop down below, and you can take a look at it. I would recommend just pop in and try it on, on your wrist and see how you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.